Okay, thank you, Agnes, for that presentation. This is my name, and I'm going to take you to multimedia storyboarding. Skip on. Members, are we on? Yes, we are. Okay. So, what comes into your mind when you come across a word like multimedia storyboard? What is a storyboard? Yes. Can uh, I? Yes. Go on. A story book could be. Uh, a story is a representation of a story is going to flow. I beg your it pardon? can be in form of illustrations like. Cartoons. I said yes. A storyboard is is more like a representation of how your story is going to. Okay, how your story is going to flow. Can I also try? Yes. I think a storyboard is usually a graphic representation of how your video will unfold shot by shot. It's usually made in, like you draw a table, then you make it in squares, a number of squares. So you show what will happen in the first shot, then in the next shot, with some notes about what's going on in the scene. Okay, thank you, Irene. So uh, since we are talking about a multimedia storyboard, so how can you explain that, a multimedia storyboard? I think the multimedia storyboard, like instead of now here showing short scenes, here I think now you have various forms of media that you use on media elements, like you show like, at least like, like, like you have a section for video, you have a section for audio, you have a section for images, we have a section for maps, I think something like that. Okay, thank you. Any other? Okay, thank you, Sandra and Irene. So, so a storyboard is like a plan, how you plan to come up with your story. For example, if you are doing a multimedia story, uh, how, are you plan, how are you planning to come up with uh, different elements within your story and then uh, different parts within your story? So uh, this is, just, this is uh, a plan on how you, how you plan to come up with your multimedia story, uh, which resources are you intend to use, time, uh, sources, among others. So as a multimedia storyteller, you have to first plan for your story before execution are we together yes we Remember? are yes okay. we are okay so let me replace the volunteer to read for us this a storyboard a story is a sketch of how to organize a story and a list of its content a storyboard helps you define the parameter of a story within a valuable resource and time. Organize and focus on a story. Figure out what medium to use for each part of the story. Okay, so as when you plan for your story, you will know uh, which content uh, you're going to include in, in your story. You know the resources required to come up with a good story and time. And also you will know uh, which medium to use for each part of the story. So with, uh, with your plan ready, you will know that in this part, let me use videos. In this part, let me use audios. So uh, it will make easy 
for your for you to come up with a complete story when you have a plan for it. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, let me request a volunteer to read for us this. How to do a rough story, boy. A multimedia story, some combination of video, text, still photos, audio, graphics, and interactivity presented in a non linear format. Here, the information in each medium is complementary, not redundant. So your storyboard should be put together with all those elements in mind. Okay, thank you. Uh, remember we said that in a uh, multimedia story is non-linear. Okay, so uh, when you're planning to come up with uh, a multimedia story, you have to put this in, into your mind. There is no element that comes first, then another one. You can start with any any element, any multimedia element. You can decide to start with videos. You can decide to start with audios in your story. It it's up to you as a storyteller to begin with any of these elements. And you also have to remember that each medium is complementary non-redundant so it can be used to tell a different part of the story okay some part can be tell but you can use uh, audios in for example a certain part then you use videos in another part you use uh, images in another and you come up with a complete story any questions so far Members, are we on? Yes, we are on. Okay, I hope everything is clear. Yeah. Okay, yes. let's proceed. Uh, let me request Mary to read for us this. The first thing to tackle is the part about the story being non-linear. Divide the story into non-linear parts such as a lead or not a lead or not paragraph, essentially addressing why this story is important, profiles of the main person or people in the story, the event of, or situation, any process or how something works, the history of the event or situation, other related issues raised by the story. Okay, thank you. So before, as you're planning, as you plan to come up with a, a multimedia story, you have to first divide it into different parts. And remember also these parts are non-linear. So you can decide to start with any of these parts as you're coming up with your story. You can decide uh, to start with the event, you can decide to start with the history of the event, you can start with a uh, process. The key issue is to divide your story into these parts. Are we together? Yes, we are. Okay. Then, uh, after dividing your story into different parts, also divide the content of the story among a different media. And these, remember, have videos, photos, audio, graphics, and text. So you have to know uh, which part when to use, which part am I going to use videos in, uh, which part to use photos, which part to use audios, graphics, and text. And this, you, you have to know that uh, if I use videos, it will tell this part better. If I use photos, it, it will tell this part better. So you can only know this if you come up with a plan for your story. So after coming up with your story, uh, you find it easier to come up with that story. And also you have to know uh, the sources you're going to interview. Remember we have uh, 
different, we have three types of sources. Who know them? Who know the types of sources we have? Irene, do you know them? Enoch, are you on? Okay, so we have three types of sources and these are, we have uh, the authority, we have the experts and we have the affected. So as you're planning for your multimedia story, you have to know when, when to, who to interview about any, about any topic in your story. You will know when to interview the authority and if you, are, if you interview the authority, uh, who are you going to interview? And then the experts, then the affected. So if you are, if you, if you are to come up with a balanced story, make sure that you have these three resources in your story. Okay. Are we together members? I beg for your pardon. I only had the experts, they affected and the what? We have the experts, the affected, and the authority. Okay, so, thank you. Okay, so if you are to come up with a balanced story, make sure you make sure that you include all the theory types of sources. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me request a volunteer to read for us the advantages of a multimedia storyboard. Uh, uh, the advantages of uh, multimedia storyboards are uh, it gives you a clear idea of which element to use, uh, when and where. Uh, the next one is it speeds up content creation and then it leads to effective storytelling. Uh, it also helps you to print out the holes in your story. Uh, sorry, to point out the holes in your story. And then it helps you identify the resources you will need to complete the story. Okay, thank you, Enoch. So uh, when you plan for your story, you know the elements to use when and where in your story. Uh, you know the resources you need to come up with your story. You know the time needed to come up with your story. Uh, you know the sources to interview. So uh, always before coming up with a story, just plan for it to make it easier for you to come up with a story. So as you are planning to submit our story ideas let's also have plans for our stories because when you know uh, the resources uh, needed to complete your story the time the sources to interview you find it easier to come up with your multimedia stories so let's also as we are planning for our story ideas submission let's also have our plans ready are we together? Members, are we together? Yes, we are. Okay, so yes, uh, any question about remote media story boards? Do we have any question? Okay, so as we are completing, uh, let's go through an example of a multimedia storyboard. So uh, your a multimedia story, you divide, you divide it in this way. When you, as you are planning for your story, uh, we have sections 
uh, then sources, media, resources, budget, shots or angles, and then notes. Okay. So uh, let's take an example that you want to. We are doing a story about uh, Uganda Christian University. Uh, we have to divide it into different sections. Uh, for example, one of the sections might be the main structures, main structures within UCU. Okay, so if you want to know the main structures within UCU, uh, which sources, uh, which sources can you interview? about this yes anybody about this let's do it together so that we understand it better if it's me I, I would i would have some students as the sources students Any other source apart from students? I beg your pardon? He said lecturers. Lecturers. Lecturers, any other? The workers. The what? The caretakers. 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 Then someone's. Uh, I was said security. Okay. Thank you. Then media. Uh, uh, sorry, on sources, I do also go for the communications office. Communications office. Okay, so uh, which medium can you use here? A video. Video. What else? Audio. I beg your pardon? Audio. Audio. Any other? Text. Next. So if you want to show people the main structures within uh, Uganda Christian University, uh, do you think text can communicate better? And then uh, I said still photos. And someone gave us a text. Who gave us text? Who gave us audio? Yes. So if you are if you want to show your audience the main structures within Uganda Christian University, do you think audios can explain it better? The video and incorporate the audio in the video. I beg your pardon. You do the video and then add in the audio to explain. Video and then add the, uh, so audio of who? 
if you are to if we want to communicate if you want to communicate about the main structures uh, give us an example yes, so okay so let's go with videos and still photos so resources which resources will you need to come up with videos and still photos a camera camera okay budget how much will you need less than 5m 5m yes 5m <laughs> for what can you give us accountability 5m for buying a camera 5m for buying a camera but remember we said that uh, in this era you can also use your mobile phone to come up with a good multimedia story isn't it Assuming I have a small phone. <laughs> Assuming you're having a small phone. So how much do you need to buy a big phone? <laughs> like 500,000. 500,000? Okay. So let's go with that. You need 500,000. Okay, which shots or angles will you take? Uh, I can use a wide shot and a medium shot. Wide shot and medium shot. Okay. Will you need any additional information about the main structures? Yes. Like we like like which information? Like I think some additional information apart from the one you have gotten from the sources, you can also add like like what you also say about it like you have the other voices from the sisters but then you also put in like your voice i think okay specifically which information what do you need uh, the names of these uh, structures remember the names of the structures and maybe the meaning like now for us we have like a structure like sabiti so maybe you could say it and tell us the meaning of sabiti who sabiti was eh? something like that Okay, background of the names. So whenever we say that you, uh, whenever you use a still photos, always remember to caption them to help your audience know what is in the photo. So when you are collecting your information, make sure that you note down, for example, the names of the structures, so that you caption them well. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's go. Let's look into another section. Let's say another section is about location of you see you. So okay. Uh, which sources will you need to get the information about location of UCU? Uh, Google Maps. Google Maps. Okay. Say Google. Mm -hmm. Any other source? The UCU website. UCU website. All these can be UCU website. Uh, 
Any other? Okay, let's move to media. Uh, which medium? Which which medium? Uh, you can you use here? Internet. Yes. Internet. I beg your pardon, you are not clear. Uh, he says the internet. I can't hear you. Okay, okay. For me, I would use a map. Okay. Use map. Maps. Okay, resources. The yes. What will you need to come up with a map? Uh, uh, sorry, Sato. Sorry to take you back, but uh, since most of our sources are Google Maps and then the UCU website, uh, it would be better for someone. Okay, I'm not taking out the map thing, but as our colleague had given, uh, using the internet as the medium. Using the internet as the medium? Enoch? Yeah, yeah, mm, using the internet. But remember, we said that uh, among uh, among the medium, among the media we have, we have videos, photos, text, graphics, maps. So those are the elements we intend to use uh, here. Okay. Are you getting it? Okay. Maybe maybe we'd mistake in the channel for media. It's okay. Okay. So resources, what will you need to come up with the map? Hello? Okay, if I'm to ask, like like can you use an internet as a resource? Like you can go there, you, you you get a map, you get a picture of it, and maybe you can print it and attach it to your work. But remember, we are dealing with multimedia. So uh, you just go on Google Maps, then come up with a map of UCU, and then uh, embed it into your story. So the resource needed here is the internet, as you said. Okay. Okay, so you need internet. Then budget, how much data? 10,000. 10,000? Okay, we shall not need uh, shots or angles since we are using Google Maps. Uh, will you need any additional information? Irene? Yes, if it's me, I would add. Which additional, which additional information? Because th there are some things you won't get, the Google Maps will not show. Like I once had, I think we went some missing, and they were like, that school that was given to us, because it's on a hill, there's something to do with a hill, something, so that it can be viewed of a house. I would get that additional information and I add it. Okay, so like in names of different, names of different, let's say structures, uh, lens within Uganda Christian University, because when you are plotting your map, you have to name all this. Are we together? Okay, yes, let's. Sir, we are. Let's have one more section. Let's say 
another section is about this structure is structure at ECU. Okay, let's be quick here. Sources. Uh, the UCU website. UCU website. What else? What do you need to interview University Basa? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we do not call them Basas, but yeah, that's it. And then uh, maybe you call them. You call, you call them what? Students, because the students are the ones who are paying, so they also know this. Okay, students. So you don't have buses. What, what name do you give them? How do you call them? Uh, we call them accountants because they're in the accounts office. Yeah. Okay, accounts office. Okay, median. Still photos. Still photos. Okay, still, uh, photos of, still photos of what specifically? Still photos of the fee structure. Like you get a, a, a picture of the, a paper, a paper that, that is having our fee structure, you take a picture of it and you attach it to your work. Okay. Any other? Uh, I'd go with text. You go with text, you explain everything in text. Yeah, maybe maybe someone can draw uh, a table the way you're doing here and then uh, fill in the figures and if that can be considered as text. Okay. So what about graphics? Yes, I think graphics, like if Enoch would do his well, he would use graphics, like the way he said. Like the way yeah. he was talking, it would be like graphics. But obviously, I think the graphics will come from the, the figures, which is the text. So both can work because uh, you get the graph, like graphs and pie charts and whatever. Maybe if you want to compare and then do that. That's all graphics. Because with the graphics, you fill in with digits and text. So graphics will be better to communicate with this. Resources. Eno, can I read resources? Uh, <laughs> the internet, that's if you're going on the UC website. Internet. Budget. Uh, I will not be as extravagant as Erin, I think. <laughs> but, but, but that's not too much whatever, money, 10,000. Uh, uh, whatever amount can, can, can reach me, the information is enough. Okay, 500 shillings is enough for Enoch. <laughs> 500 shillings? How many MBs? 25. So 25 MBs are enough for Enoch. Yes. <laughs> I'm to just get to just get this information. How much? How much? Uh, 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 how many of these do you need to load a website? But you need yeah. also. Uh, you need that also to come up with the uh, the graphics. Uh, maybe the, uh, now one thousand. That's uh, one hundred MB is enough. <laughs> one thousand shillings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't need shirts here. Uh, you need to do. Will you need to note down any additional information? Uh, maybe if you want to compare previous field structures with the current one, and maybe uh, the, how the different uh, courses are doing with because uh, because I'm not sure the law uh, the lawyers are paying the same as the mass communicators and then that, and okay. maybe. Yeah, small differences in there. 
Okay, so briefly, that's how we can come up with a multimedia storyboard. Any question about uh, this? Do we have any question about a multimedia storyboard? Okay, so as, as you're planning uh, to come up with... Uh, sir, a little bit. Yes. Uh, all, all the examples we've given are from UCU, of which we are students of UCU, it's easier for us to brainstorm. Could we have a, an example which is non-affiliating to UCU? Like which example? And bring any because if I give you, you'll be biased. Bring any so that we can brainstorm. You can give me. You'll be the one to give me the example you want us to go through. Uh, okay, let's say uh, we want to, to, to get information about the UPD, uh, 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 the the replacement of Grace, uh, I'm forgetting the other name, the director CID. Replacement of what? The, the, uh, the former director, of the replacement of uh, Grace, I've forgotten the other name, but we are now having Tom Mag uh, Magambo as the new director CID. So let's assume we want to get that information. Director CID. Okay, which sources will you need here? So remember, I said this is about this is all about planning, uh, knowing which sources to interview, uh, which medium to use, resources needed, then budget shots if we are to use uh, videos and photos, and then additional information okay so uh what could be your source here uh i'd go for for the spokesperson yeah, yeah. That's it. But, uh, but someone giving okay yes uh, is it senoga speaking Yes, I was saying that Fred Enanga, the Communications Office of Police, Uganda. Okay. Police. Spokesperson. Media. Uh. I think video, still photos. Videos, photos, resources. You need a camera. Budget, how much will you need to gather this information, Enoch? Uh, at least now it would elevate to uh, at least 100 transport and stuff. You need could be a whole day. That's if I'm going there. To do the videos if i'm just uh getting the info from the net uh, around ten thousand yeah around ten thousand but uh, what if uh, you are going there to interview this uh, police spokesperson how much will you need that's why i i said a uh, hundred thousand need a hundred then a shot uh, the primary shots, that's wide, medium, and uh, close-up, you know. Right, medium. Close-ups. And then additional information. Which additional information will you need? Uh, maybe... 
uh, information coming from the president's office because it's the president who appoints these guys and, and maybe other people to just to interview what they expect. Okay. And also you need to have the information about the new director, the departing one. So you need also to collect all that information. Yeah. Uh, Sandra is asking, can here of UCU be the source? Yes. You can interview the peer of the university. So as you wind up, uh, make sure that you come up with a multimedia storyboard as we are planning to submit our story ideas. So you, you need to come up with, yes? Yes, um, my question was for the media part. Can you include that? Can you include what? Text. Text? Yes. Yes, it can be included there. Okay. Yeah, there we have videos, photos, audios, images, graphics, text, and maps. Any other question? Okay, so as we wind up, let's uh, plan to come up with a multimedia storyboard. For our stories. Thank you very much. Let me invite Geoffrey to take us through the next item.